Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one of these. Today we're going to do a unboxing, I guess you could say, of the uh, standard Ruger American Rifle chambered in 308 Winchester. Um, I'm looking for a new deer rifle for the fall. I wanted something that could go out past 250 or 300 yards, which is kind of what I was limited to right now with what I have in the uh, in the gun safe. So I decided on this model. Now, just first of all, I want to get a little shout out to my, my patrons out there because the Patreon money that you guys have been contributing for many months actually went towards the purchase of this rifle. The optic up on the top is a Vortex Diamondback HP 4 to 16 by 42. I've used it on a couple rifles and it was just sitting around, so I thought, you know, this needs to go on something. Now, I originally wanted to purchase the Ruger Compact Rifle 308 because I thought that maybe it would feel about the same as my Ruger Ranch Rifle chambered in 762 by 39. Uh, when I tested it out in the store, it was actually much smaller than I realized it was. It had a 1.25 inch uh, shorter length of pull and a shorter barrel. So I decided on this standard size model instead. Uh, let's just talk about the features and specs and then we'll see what's actually in the box. And I'll, I'll explain to you guys why I decided to purchase this particular bolt action rifle when there are so many other options that are out there. So first of all, the model is the 6903. It is chambered in 308 Winchester. Uh, the stock is black synthetic. Uh, you don't get sights with it, but you, you do get a standard Picatinny rail up on the top, which makes it really easy to mount just about any kind of optic that you want. Barrel length is 22 inches. The barrel material is alloy steel, but it is but it does have a cold hammer forged barrel, which makes a huge difference. I've also got that on my Ruger Ranch rifle, and uh, that does help with the, uh, the barrel life. It does help with accuracy. It's one of the better ways to go with the barrel. Uh, the model option is right-handed only. The twist is 1 in 10, uh, right-handed twist. Capacity is 4. Uh, barrel finish is matte black. The weight is 6.1 pounds. Overall length is 42 inches. Length of pull is 13.75 inches. We've got five grooves in the barrel, and the suggested retail price is $489. Now, I did purchase this in my local Shields. It was $429. That was the lowest price I could find just about anywhere. If you look around on places like uh, Gun Broker or other retailers, these are already going in excess of $500, especially at a time of peak demand for firearms. All right, so let's go and take a look at the box and see what's actually in there. Then we'll take a look at the rifle itself and the ammunition we're going to break it in with. And again, today's just an overview and unboxing video, but once we get it out to the range, we're going to use the Fiocchi ammunition, rifle shooting dynamics, 150 grain, full metal jacket ammo. All right, so like I said, they also make the compact version, which, you know, I was really hoping it would fit me better. But once I really shouldered it, I thought, man, this thing is way too short. Um, and so we decided on the full size model. But anyway, that might work for you if you're a little bit shorter or you got some shorter arms. In the box, it's very simple. It's just your standard Ruger cardboard box. We'll take a look at the magazine here in just a little bit. Just packing foam. And again, looking at the receipt, yep, I ended up paying uh, $4.29 for it. But uh, again, shout out to patrons because you guys definitely helped with that. Ruger does a pretty good job with their instruction manuals. Let's find that real quick. Okay, so you do get the Ruger sticker, which comes along with a lot of the fires purchases that you make from them. You get 20% off at shopruger.com. We've also got the, uh, the gun lock that's included. You can use that if you want to or not. Information on safety. The manual does a really good job, and you can see they've got the compact on the bottom and the standard. And while they look about the same, like I said, you've got a shorter length of pull, so just keep that in mind. Also, the compact model does not have the threaded barrel like the Ruger Ranch rifle does. So that was one of, another one of the reasons why I went ahead and passed. And that's pretty much about it. That's what you're going to get. All right, so let's take a look at the magazine that comes with the firearm, and then we'll take a look at the firearm itself. Oh, I take that back. We've also got, let's see, more information about shopruger.com. Warranty information. Now, what's really nice about uh, Ruger rifles or Ruger firearms in general, you get a lifetime guarantee with it, but they don't advertise it. All they say is that the firearm should ever happen to fail, call us up and send it in. Then you also get the uh, Ruger Joint NRA little spectacular there. All right, let's check out the magazine real quick. All right, so let's take a look at the magazine real quick and see uh, what we think about it. It seems a little bit higher quality than the one that came with my Mossberg Patriot that I had in 6.5 Creedmoor. This almost feels almost more like something that Magpul would make. Doesn't really have much of an anti-tilt follower in the front. What's funny about these magazines is that people claim that the, the magazines you buy from the, the Ruger store, the after, they're not even aftermarket, the Ruger production mags, they're not the same quality as the ones that come with the rifle. I find that really hard to believe, but people are complaining about having nosedive issues and issues where the feed lips have been separating. So maybe there's just a bad run of those magazines. I don't know. We'll find out. So I said the capacity is four originally. The magazine is really easy to load. So you're looking at, okay, so it's gonna be three plus one total. So you have three rounds in the magazine itself. Do you just go right in, no issues whatsoever. 
Okay, and then you've got this little plastic latch in the front. I'm not going to say this is the most durable setup ever, but I'm also not going to be, you know, running through the jungle doing combat maneuvers with this thing. We're talking about a simple uh, deer stalker rifle. And that noise you were hearing earlier is no other than Ammo Cat. She's already getting moved into her nice new um, small condo, I guess you could say. And Ammo Dog's definitely on watch to make sure that she stays safe. All right, so first things first, why did I choose the Ruger American Rifle? I was looking at the Mossberg Patriot, there was the Thompson Compass, there was also, I don't know, four or five other different rifles I was looking at, Tika, Howa, and so on. Uh, my Ruger American Ranch Rifle, chambered in 762 by 39 has been a fantastic workhorse for the channel. I've shot hundreds and hundreds of rounds through it, maybe a thousand rounds at this point. I pretty much quit counting, and it is just a beast. It keeps running. I really am happy with the line. But uh, let's talk about the pros and cons here. So when you pick it up, first of all, talk about the price. You know, the $429 price point without an optic puts it pretty much on par with the Savage Axis 2. Mossberg Patriot, I think, is about $449 without an optic. I mean, prices can vary and fluctuate uh, depending on where you are. Overall build quality, I love the stocks that the Ruger Americans use. Some people might not like them. I've noticed on the Mossberg Patriot that I had in 6.5 Creedmoor, you could flex the front of the stock and it would actually touch the barrel. And that's something that you don't want, especially if you're you know, running a real expensive precision ammo and you want to shoot as good as you possibly can. Um, again, nothing against the Thompson Center rifles. I think they're fine, but I like the rigidity that uh, Ruger uses in their rifles. By the way, we are clear, just so you know. Um, they also use like a, like, a, like a block mounting system. So there's these blocks that the action's going to sit on, which free floats the barrel pretty good. Um, occasionally, you might have to do just a little bit of sanding inside, but uh, it does fit perfectly. I can put a sheet of paper almost all the way up to the point where the barrel reaches the receiver. I like that. The weight's not too bad, a little over six pounds. Heck, the optic weighs you know, probably close to 24 ounces, maybe 30 ounces or something like that. Stock is, is fairly shallow, but you have this nice rubber butt pad on the end. And so it's just a nice, good, all around, durable rifle that's gonna shoot well for you. Um, you know, I, when I tested my barrel, I did some heat testing and shot multiple rounds through the ranch rifle. Had very little variation in the accuracy whatsoever. The cold hammer forged barrel on this thing is fantastic. And like I said, the pick rail up on the top is, is wonderful too. Uh, other pros about it, you do have an adjustable trigger that will adjust between three and five pounds. It, it doesn't take much to adjust it. You do have to take the action out of the stock, which I'll probably be doing in an upcoming cleaning video because I want to take it apart and clean it one time and then make sure. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dry fire it a couple times and just we'll talk about the trigger itself and, and see what I think about it. Again, we are empty, chamber's empty, no rounds in the magazine. Go ahead and close it. The safety itself is just a plastic tank safety. I wish that was metal, but it's not. Uh, that's just kind of typical of this design and how they do it. I've never had issues with my ranch rifle uh, with any kind of problems with the safety on that one, so it is fine. Okay, safety's off. You have a little trigger safety right there that you press. Again, it's nice and light, crisp. This one does feel a little bit lighter. This might be set at three pounds from the factory. I'm not sure if they set it on the low end or the high end, but uh, when we take it out and clean it, we can definitely check that and see where it's at. You've got your sling swivel studs on the front and the back. I've already got my bipod mounted on the front here, and it does have a hook where I can also mount my sling if I want to. Uh, let's see here, what else do we need to know? Very easy to take out the bolt. Let's go and take the bolt out and show you that real quick, and we'll, we'll go from there. So to remove the bolt, there's just a little button on the left-hand side of the receiver here at the rear. Most of these bolt action rifles, are very easy to take the bolt out, so that's not a problem at all. Okay, we've got this little triple locking lug system here. You guys can see that, there you go. Nice stainless steel construction, does need to be cleaned off. It's probably been test fired a couple times. I can see a little bit of residue in the back there. Um, again, it's fairly well built. You do have a plastic cap here on the end. Uh, the manual doesn't tell you how to disassemble the bolt, and honestly, on my ranch rifle, I haven't. I've just wiped it off and kept it clean and never had any issues, never had any kind of fouling. And I've shot a ton of just cheap steel case ammo through that thing also. So the bolt is uh, is very well made. It's nice and sturdy. I think it's going to hold up well and lock well. There's the... Okay. All right, nice extractor in there too. Here's what I don't like about Ruger, the Ruger rifle. I wish they would just take an extra five minutes and eliminate this. Feels like I'm scratching records or something in a rap song, right? So after about 200 rounds, 150, 200 rounds, that will start to disappear. At least it did on the ranch rifle. Now I got one of the early production ranch rifles and I keep talking about it because it's kind of a benchmark for comparison to this particular model. And the, uh, the ranch rifle had some real rough finish inside the receiver. I didn't really want to send it back. I wanted to start shooting it. And it did eventually wear in and break in and it's much more quiet now. So that follow-up shot, 
I mean, you're going to scare away the other deer that are, there, that are there, I'll tell you that right now. So that's one thing that Ruger really could work on with these rifles to improve on them, because I don't notice that in a lot of other brands that I check out. Here, let's take a look at that stock here from the front. Again, real easy to match your bipod on the swivel stud. Yes, I will take off the Ruger stickers. I'm just uh, so excited to show this to you guys. I haven't had a chance to do so. Um, getting the stock fitted. Again, I'm five foot eleven, and I have no problems whatsoever reaching any part of the stock. I mean, it just fits me perfectly. In fact, when I got the stock installed, we got it mounted. I've got a nice uh, amount of eye relief here, and uh, very easy to manipulate the bolt. They're not browning smooth, okay, but they are good for what they are. So if you can get one of these, say, for under uh, $429, say you can get one for $399 or $350, or you see them for even less, and I'm sure prices are going to go down because there was a time where these were really low in price, like $350. Do snag one. Do pick one up. I think you're going to be really happy with it. You know, it might make a nice beater rifle, a nice second rifle to take with you, and uh, I don't think you're going to go wrong with it. So guys, that's my take on the Ruger American Rifle, chambered in 308 Winchester. Again, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. We're going to get it out and test it and see how well it shoots. Um, it does get pretty good reviews overall. We're going to pick up a few different types of ammo once we break it in and see what kind of accuracy we can pull off with it. Again, relatively inexpensive. Nice way to get into a good deer rifle. And you can get these in multiple calibers. They have these in, in just about everything you can imagine. Uh, 243, 270, uh, 223, um, let's see, 762 by 39 in the Ranch Series, 65 Creedmoor, 350 this and that. You know, Just look it up. You'll probably find it. Okay. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. This is Travis P11, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and check out my podcast called Caliber Corner. We do that Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Time over there on YouTube. We talk guns and ammo. And uh, in the meantime, like and subscribe. And don't forget, we've got a giveaway coming up once I hit 40,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away a 1911 chambered in 45 ACP, so don't miss that. But in the meantime, I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.